Amalatapad mo. Something good is going to happen to you. Ang balasid ayon, I prophesy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please sit down. Palakpakan natin natin nga mga musicians, mga vocalists. Hallelujah. Libot ka mo sa bilog nga Roa City, diri lang ang may banda nga mo sini. Saan nabaluan ko? Wala pa ko kalibot. But I really believe we have the, the, the best attitude now to, to really love, express our love to the Lord. Amen? Gusto ko i-mention sa inyo nga sa tunga natin subong diri kaya niya gabi, may tatlo diri yung celebrate sa ilang birthday. Ang isa si Pintanyos na. Si Brother Nathan, Jonathan, dito sa likod. Tindog lang, Brad, tindog. Happy birthday! Yeah! Happy birthday! Ang isa, 49 years old, Brother Tito. Is that okay, no? Yeah! Happy birthday! Hallelujah! Kamustahan nyo kung malapit ka mo. Pakayuin na yun. Sino birthday cake? Hallelujah! Sino pagin? Oh, ara pagin! Nang tiri, kang si? Vidal, please sit, uh, stand up, please. Palakpakin nyo man ang mga may birthday. Iniya sila nga duha, wala akong kabalo sa gila edad. Pakton ko lang si Nang Tere, siguro, puro pareho kami ni edad, 49. Si Vidal, siguro, mga banta-banta ko, mga 41. Ah, 51? 4? 47. Abaw, 47. <laughs> Lapaw na sa 45, kaya galupok ang 45. Alright. Can I request all of you to stand with me? We will read the Word of God. Tulukan nyo ang left and right ninyo ng mga tao because they are your fellow brothers and sisters who will rejoice joining us in the feast of the Word. Okay. Basahon natin several duha ka scripture verses. Ang una, ara sa James, o kung sa Ilonggo, Jacobo. Daw grabe ang James. Tapong Jacobo na siya. James chapter 1, verse 23 to 25. Ang munang unahon nato, nanay. This was part of our text last Sunday. Pero gusto ko nga, diri kita mag-ugat. Diri kita maumpisa sa ngaton pagatunan. And then we will expand it to Romans chapter 4. Okay, verse 23. Are you ready? Ready? Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Gamay nga comment. Kinanglan gidman maglisen ka una. Sila yung verse 23. You listen, but listening is never enough. You have to live it out. You have to do it. Amen? Ikaduha nga comment. Nga ang uh, mirror of the word is also called, sa verse 25, the perfect law. The word promised by God is called perfect law. And it is called the law of freedom, the law of liberty. We will touch that in a little while. This time, let's go to Romans 4. Turn your Bible there. Bibles. Verse 17 to 21, then we will pray. 17. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence 
the things that do not exist. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. Pakot na ninyo kung sino ni siya, si Abraham. Abraham did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, but fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Hallelujah. So tonight we'll talk about responding to the mirror word. I explained it last Sunday, I will explain it again. But let's pray. Magapangamuyo kita. Ganun nga gabi, Lord, I pray nga sabtun mo ang desire, kagpangamuyo sa inyong mga katawan, Lord, just like the prayer of the disciples, Lord, increase our faith. Dugang niya mong pagtuo, Lord. Many times we we fall and we fail. Tungod kay kulang amon pagtuo. Kung kay isa, Lord, nothing happens even when we pray and we know that it is it is you who have made a promise you will answer our prayer. But nothing happens because we fail in our faith. Our faith is weak or our faith is so little. Karun nga gabi, Lord, increase our faith. Tanan ka mong nag-pray, subong upon sa akin. Whisper a prayer to God. You say, Lord, increase my faith. Increase my faith. I have many needs. Increase my faith. I have many problems. Increase my faith. I am facing troubles. Increase my faith. Challenge me, Lord. Increase my faith. In Jesus' name. Tanan, magsiling. Amen. Amen. Please sit down. Now, let me explain as we start. Kung anong po siling natin sa mirror word. Kung ara ka mo sa Facebook, uh, kag-friends ninyo ako, kag-friends kuman ka mo, nag-post ako, na, uh, besides this Sunday, nag-post ako sa the mirror word. Kaya gusto ko, ang, ang tanan ng mga friends ko, may experience sila kung ano ina ang mirror word. Let, let me define the mirror word. The mirror word is about who you are in God. That's the mirror word. Who you are in God. What you look to what you look like to him. Who you are in God and how you look like to him. Let me read again ang James Siling Diri. Uh, if you are listening to the word the Word of God, you are actually just like looking at your own face in the mirror. That's what it says, verse 23. When you are reading the Word of God and properly at a certain time of your reading, you will discover that you are looking at yourself from the point of view of God. God is telling you something about you. Many of you do not know who you really are. Because you have namati ka mo sa mga hambal sang tao parte sa inyo. Ang hambal nila, you know, they, they, they call you wala ka pulos. Alin sang una, do, hindi ka ba puslan, wala ka pala abuton. They try to belittle you and they try to speak evil of you. They do not bless you at all. Only God, when you read His Word, He begins to bless your heart. He'll begin to say to you, you are my beloved. Because of my love for you, I am giving you my only begotten son. If you believe in my only begotten son, you will have everlasting life. You will not die, you will not perish, but you will have everlasting life. Now, listen, gina encourage you come when you read scriptures like that. Don't think that it is for someone else. Don't think that God is shooting something someone else. Muna sa church ko kaysa, may gawali ganit. Te, 
Eh, mo nga kalabito ng imo kingot, igo ka naman. Siya yang na igo, ito ikaw ya. Tandiyan ninyo, gusto niya mapakibyas-kibyas lang ka mo ya. Hindi, basta gabasa ka sa pulong sa Diyos, imugid na yan, makitaan mo ang sarili mo. Halimbawa, nagba, sino sa inyo nagbato na kay Jesus? Alright? Let's just start from there. If you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, siling sang John chapter 1 verse 12, that anyone who received Jesus Christ is given the authority to become God's child. So, nabasa ka. Kung nabato ko na si Lord, pari galing ilang baldri, may ginatag sa ako ng Lord na authority to become God's child. Then it occurs to you because you have to interpret what you are reading. You say, oh, it's me. I am now God's child. Hallelujah! Then 2 Corinthians 5.17, If any man be in Christ, he is a brand new person inside. Abe, singgit ka mo, ako na. I'm a brand new person inside. That's your mirror word. You are looking at yourself, at your own face. Siling diri sa James chapter 1, verse 23. Verse 24, after looking at himself, amugin nang intention. When you are reading the word of God, God would be speaking to you and it is about who you really are from your father's eyes. Amen? Wala siya nagapakagamay sa imo. He does not insult you. He does not belittle you. He likes you. Palakpakan nato nato, Lord. After looking at himself, ining atawo, would go away and forget what he looks like. Ang balis ka, Gina, you should not forget what you look like. The, the purpose nga nagapangispiho ka, mabalaan mo kung ano tsura mo, right? Hello? Now, I want to mention this. This is very important. Kung mangispiho ka sa pulong sang Diyos, as you read the Word of God, and He is really talking to you during that time, He is not talking about you how you would look like in the future. He is, he is telling you about how you look like right now. Sino sa inyo nakapangispiho kay Ina? Ante siya mga today? Mangkot ko sa inyo, did you see your future there? Or did you see the factual, actual, uh, the timely, the relevant face that you have right now? Okay? Kaya muna dapat, ang imo pag panumdong sinang ginatawag ng mirror word. This is you right now. Hallelujah. Pero pastor, masiling ka, daw hindi man ako sina. Meaning to say, nga ang ginahambal sa ginoo sa imo, bisad daw, subong daw, hindi ka pa magpati, pero amo ka na sina. Buang lang ang mag, hindi magpati sa ispiho, samtang kapang ispiho siya. Ay, hindi ako na. Ay, hindi ako. Ipaghiwala mo sarili mo. You understand? Also, also, magtulog ka sa espiho sang pulong sang Diyos, hindi lang kay uh, butang sa future ang ang uh, hindi mo dapat panumdumal, kundi ang butang ang nagligad. What you are looking at in the mirror of the Word, when you are reading the Word of God, is the actual mirror of you right now, not your past. God is not digging up your past. Kung Christian ka nga tutod, ang imo nagliligad, nagligad na to. Kung ginadumdum mo pa tong mga sala, nga ginpatawad pa ni Lord, let me tell you something, ginainsulto mo si Lord. Daw ginahambalan mo siya nga, wala gid ka Lord nagpatawad sa akon amo amo to nakita ko Lord daw bugat ya po nang imo nga buot sa akon no God has already forgiven you nagsiling gani siya sa Bible nga when he forgives your sin he will not remember it anymore I 
I hope I am helping you to believe God. If you are looking at the mirror of the Word of God, He is not trying to control your mind about who you are in the past. He is trying to give you the real picture about who you are in His eyes. Amen? Now, sa ginbasa nato sa James, may mga terms dira nga gin-mention si James, kaya gin-mention ko na kina, about uh, the law. Uh, next frame, please. Sa Hebrews 7.19, para lang ma-remind ma- ma- ka mo sining bagay nga natawag perfect law. Ginatawag ini nga perfect law ang pulong sang Diyos aton subong because this is the principle, this is the truth that makes people perfect. The old law, abi hamal yung old law. The old law made nothing perfect. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 19. Ang old law amutong kay Moses nga law. Abi hamal yung kay Moses. Ang Ten Commandments and all the other commandments given by God through Moses dito sa Mount Sinai. Kabati ka mo sa Ten Commandments? Okay. There was no one in the past and today and even in the future, no one can be made perfect by observing the Ten Commandments. The law of the Ten Commandments made no one perfect. Pero siling diri sa verse 19, for the law made nothing perfect, and a better hope is introduced. Better than the Ten Commandments. Better hope is introduced by which we draw near to God. This is the, the principle, this is the truth about Jesus. He is giving us hope nga si Jesus ya, mahimu ya kita nga perfect. Kapati ka mo word nga perfect? I'm not talking about sinlessly perfect. I'm talking about you growing and growing in your love for God. Kaya ang word nga perfection means completion. Makomplete ka. Palakpakan natin natin, Lord. Kaganta ka mo example. Sino sa inyo din nga iskwila nga kagamit ka mo ruler? Ruler? Mga artist, are they mga artist, mga ruler? What is a ruler? It is a measuring instrument. 12 inches, one foot. Okay? If you use a ruler, a ruler can only measure how tall you are. But the ruler cannot increase your height. Let me say that again. The ruler can only tell you how tall you are. Ako, 5'3". Okay? The ruler says 5'3". But the ruler cannot increase even if I tell the ru- ruler, can you make me six-footer? No, the ruler cannot make me six-footer. The ruler is inutile. Cannot increase my height. Amo na ang kalimbawa sa commandments in the past. Yagindala ni Moses. It was not meant to make you perfect. It was only meant to tell you that you need God. Hallelujah. Wala gid sinag amen. Man pagtakos sa kuman, man say mo bo da bo da mo gid ako kakulangan. And when you know that, masiling ka nga ti, anod ko ni. I cannot erase my own sin, but God promised that he will erase your own your your sins. Palakpakan naton si Lord. Another term is law of liberty. Galatians 5 ang aton ginatun-an sa Sa, sa New Testament is called Law of Liberty. Hindi niya kay law nga nagagapo sa mo. Let me read Galatians 5.1. For it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Ang topic sa Galatians 5, bilog ng Galatians, is about the old system of salvation by law. Kung nga law ang imo ginasaligan, Siling dira ni, ni Paul, ginagapos ka lang sang law. The more you follow the law, the more you get frustrated because many times, ginabreak mo ang law. So, hindi ka, sina, ma, no, hindi ka mahilway. There is no freedom there. Pero kay Christ. Siling Christ. Kanta natin kayo na, di ba? 
Yes, I'm free. Free forever. Amen. Diba? Forever you're free. Kapatid ka mo siya na? Kay Christ, may freedom kita. Munang magtulong kita sa pulong sa Diyos, sa New Testament, may freedom kita. Now, ang New Testament, ginhatag sa Lord in principle kay Abraham. Si Abraham, lulo sa lulo sa lulo pagit ni Moises. Si Moises, ang mga nagdala sa kasuguan, ginhatag sa Israel. Pero antes ang law ginhatag, pagi kay Moises, si Abraham. Ang munang ginagamit si Abraham sa Romans 4 to explain to us what it is all about. So Romans 4, Romans 4, let's talk about Abraham. Ni si Abraham, taga after the flood ni Noah, nag sila dito sa Ur of Chaldees, Chaldean uh, uh, area. Kagang iya nga, nga mga katawhan, mga parinti niya, ara sila sa isa ka community, siyudad man nila. Pero one day, God spoke to Abraham. Siling sang gino kay Abraham, Abraham pa ito yung alan. Nga, ka nila sa, sa Ur of Chaldees, and I will take you to a land that I am promising to give to you. That land is the land of promise, Canaan, a land flowing with milk and honey, a land of pomegranates, land of good fruit trees that he, they will eat, they will eat of the fruit of the land that they have not planted. They will stay in houses that they did not build. Siling sang gino, I'm giving that as an inheritance to you. So nagwa siya sa Urub Kaldis, kanto siya dito sa, sa Kanaan. Siya, sa Genesis chapter 17, God appeared to Abraham again. Kagang silis ang Lord kay Abraham, Abraham, I will make you father of multitudes of nations. Himuon ko ikaw nga tatay sa damugid ng mga pungsod. Now listen, ang ngalan ni Abraham sang una, ang kahulugan sa ngalan niya, exalted father. Abraham, exalted father. From, siguro sa gamay pa siya, hasta nagdako siya, hasta niya nagtigulang siya, 100 years old siya, Genesis chapter 17. At 100 years old, sobra pa siya sa senior citizen, nakighambal ang ginoo sa iya, kag nagsiling, uh, I will make you father of many nations, Abraham. So, Abraham, nami mong alan, exalted father, how many children do you have? Doko lang si Abraham. Siya zero. How many children do you have, exalted father? Zero. Nga man. Tungod kay hindi lang siya ang may diferensya ng tigulang na siya. Ang asawa niya may diferensya. Baren, bawas ang iyang asawa. And so, the, the wife was 95 years old. Abraham was 100 years old. What do you think is happening in the mind of Abraham, when God said, I will make you father of many nations. Sa isa ka translation, multitude of nations. Hindi lang a father of many children. Father of many nations. In fact, siling siyang ginoong, para magpati kasi na, sugod ka ron, I will change your name. I will give you a new identity. Your identity would be a change of name. Kalaw ay isang imungalan kay Abram. Sunula ka man anak. Let's change it to Abraham. You know what is Abraham? Abraham means father of multitudes of nations. That is the meaning of his name. The big deal git na iya kay Abraham nga man wala gidya logic wala gidya realismo wala gidya scientific evidence nga ang 100 years old nga lalaki nga may asawa nga 95 years old nga babaye nga bawas nga makaanak pa bisan isa lang gani ka pamilya siguro hindi siya kapatubo ganti kulang na siya impossible abi hambal sa tupad mo impossible oh okay there are many times in your life as a Christian. Listen, it's very important. Can experience yan ko There are many times that God will come to you and speak to you about something nga sa imo ya huna-huna ya, 
Grabe, ginayalo niya. Hindi ginay matabo niya. Siguro ako makambal ka lang informally kay Lord. Simo, Lord, ano ka nagbuang ganay mo? Ano ko mo sina? Pareho lang na asang tao nga nakakita sa itsura niya sa ispiyo. Nagpugwapo niya. Ako na. Sila yung Lord, ikaw na. So ano yung feeling? Amo nang gusto ko ng tunan nato ni nang inatawag ng mirror word. So let's study about Abraham. How did he respond? Una, Abraham, nga Abraham na ngalan niya subong, he believed the promise of God. Very simple. He believed the promise of God. Wala si may matabo sa imo, kundi ka magtuo sa promise sa Diyos. Wala gid si may matabo sa imo, kundi ka magtuo sa promise sa Diyos. I know nga sang una madamo sa inyo diri Christians, Christian ka mo pero lakas mo kabasa sang Bible. Ang inyo pagtuo sang una, pato pato. Are you following? I'm not trying to insult you, I'm not trying to offend you, I'm just saying the truth. How can you know what God wants you to believe if you have not read the Bible? How can you know what God thinks of you if you have not read His Word? No, paras lang nang may nagpangaluyag sa imo gin padalan ka love letter wala mo na basahan. May expect ka nga palanggaon kanya na sunod na pagkitain ninyo ang pakasal na ta. No, you have to read His love letter. You have to read His proposal. You have to read all His promises and His instruction. Hallelujah. Let's read again. He believed the promise of God. Grabe ninyo si Abraham. Very positive ang Diyos sa paghambal sa iya. Ang natabo nga, ginpamatian niya, gin siling diri. As it is written, dito sa Genesis 17, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. Notice that. He believed the promise of God, the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. I have made you father of many nations. Samo nagpulong nagtupa sa iya. Dason sigit siling pagit sa unan, verse eighteen. So shall your offspring be. Tano man yung verse eighteen. So shall your offspring be. Ang imong kabataan amo na. Nga man, kay gindala sang Lord si Abraham sa gua sa tent. Ngin patulok niya si Abraham sa langit. Nya look at the stars. Can you count the stars? Siling dayon sang Ginoo sa iya, I will give you children as many as the stars in the sky. Hallelujah. Hindi niyo na ma-appreciate tungod kay na brainwash ka mo sang population control. Nga sa inyo ya mayad ang inyo nga kumbaga ang swerte mo kanami kun ang bata mo duha lang o kun isa. Sa tuong panahon, kun wala ka anak, panawag sa imo gin buisit ka. Gin karma ka. Amo na ang sa ilang hunahuna ya gin curse ka. Curse is the person nga wala sing bata kay wala ka na next generation. Ikaw ang last Mohican. You are the last Filipino kun wala ka anak. Hello. Muna yan nga mga mga gwapo-gwapo nga ba lang nga mga lalaki nga nakitaan ko nga na-istorya ko. Gwapo-gwapo sila pero bading. Di siling ko paano ka maka-procreate sila kay wala ka ga-expect nga may next generation sa imo. Ma-adapt na lang kuno siya. Paano ka maka-next generation sa adoption? Ang imo genetics lang yung gina iya. Sin, kung gusto mo nga may next generation ka, normal nga mga sawa ka. Hallelujah! Kahit pabusungon mo siya kada bulan, kada tuig. Uy, Jesus, hallelujah! Gadang mo ang imurasa, praise God. Di ba lang kadami, isang ang ako, ang ginauna-una, dusi, gadyang anak ko. May imagine nyo ang, ang itsura ko, kag ang ako, amon pa ni Malay ni Sister Sinaida, nga dusi, gadyang kakabataan, nga para sa ako ni itsura. Now, so lain ang ilang pag-values ang children sa unang panahon, they are wealth. Sila isang Bible, children are, are blessings from the Lord. Sabihan ba niyo blessings? They are not buisit. They are blessings from the Lord. Hallelujah. So si Abraham, 
nagpatingin siya sa isang gino, so shall your children be? Tanto ka sa baybay, your children will be as many as the sand of the seashore. Na amigid ya. So, nagpatingin si Abraham sini. He knew what God said. And then, look at this, he interpreted what God said. Pag siling sang gino sa iya nga, I, I am making you father of many nations, so shall your children be. be. Uh, siling sang verse 18, that he should become the father of many nations. Nagpati si Abraham that he will become father of many nations. Gininterpret niya ang ginambal sa Lord Jesus niya, ay amugin na gali. Ginisla niya nga lang ko, kay amugin na gali. He does not want to embarrass me. Embarrassment, gid na iya nga, tawagun ka nga, tatay, pero wala ka man anak. Tapos so, ano pa si, si Lord, islan pa ang ngalan mo, tatay sa madamo nga pungsod, nga bisan utod nga anak, wala ka? No, God did not plan for Abraham to be embarrassed. Gani siling dira. He believed that God really intended for him to become father of many nations. Siling sang verse 18. The fact that it is lang sang Lord iyang alan, intention kid niya ni Lord. Nagdugang pag ginang iya pagtuo. The promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Siling ninyo, hallelujah. Tanan nga promise ang Lord is as good as done because God will fulfill it. So, amo nang una, Amo man sa aton. Every one of us should start by knowing and then hearing and listening to the word of God, then interpreting it. My boat gid silingon si ni si Lord sa akon. My plano gid sa akon nga kabuhi. Let's go to number 2. Number 2, Abraham believed strongly the promise of God. He believed strongly the promise of God. Hindi sufficient that you are believing the promise of God if your believing is weak. Sige Lord ah, tanongon ko lang galing na. Tanongon naman na ni misis ko kung magabusonggin man siya. Tanongon naman ako, maayo man ara na Lord, maayo man hindi. Kabalo ka mo nga, amun ang nature sa aton nga faith kung wala ka, kung hina ay mga faith, mag-promise ng Lord sa mo, Halimbawa, magsiling ang Lord nga, dugay na ng balatian mo, nag-adjust ka na sa balatian mo na, dugay na baton mo na lang ng amo ka na, hasta mapatay ka. Siling sa Lord, I want to heal you. Listen, pwede kaya tagaan ni Lord sa mirror word. Gasiling dira nga, by His stripes, you were healed. Siling mo, para ni Sakon. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. He was wounded for my healing. Hallelujah, Lord, para na Sakon. So you begin to get in, not only interested, you become intense. Siling mo, Lord, ayuhon mo gina kuya. Kaya ginbaydan mo na ni akong pagayo. I don't have to stay sick. I can claim, O oh Lord, my inheritance of healing. My, ang healing, wala inheritance ang tanan ng anak sang Diyos. I'm telling you that because I read it in Mark chapter 7 and in Matthew, uh, I think chapter 15, nagsiling si Jesus sa kana, Kanaanites ng babae, siling niya, it is that good to take the bread of the children and give it to the dogs. Healing and deliverance is the inheritance of the people of God. Ang balatupad mo, you can get your inheritance of healing. So he believed strongly. He was strong in faith. Wala siya nag-neutral. Wala siya nagsiling mayo man kun hindi, mayo man kun ho, mayo man kun ayuho niya ko, mayo man hindi. No, that, that is not faith, that is doubting. Let me tell you what happened to Abraham. Abraham believed strongly the promises of God. Siling sang, uh, sang scripture yung basa natin. Uh, verse 18. Matiin niyo ni. Maybe ang iban sa inyo, muna yung natubang niyo. Verse 18. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. So he became the father of many nations. Kita nyo ng word nga, against all hope. You know what that means? Sa si Abraham, ginpromisahan nga mangin tatay sa sagdamo nga pungsod. It was a hopeless case. Hopeless. 
Pero si Abraham, wala nagtulok sa pagka-hopeless sa iya nga kondisyon kag sang ila sitwasyon. 100 years old na siya, si Sarah 95 years old, bawas pa. Ano ang tsansa? Wala na hope. Pero sa isang Bible, against all hope, Abraham hope. Hallelujah. Siling ni Abraham, hopeless ni, pero I will believe anyway. Have you about you anyway? I can believe anyway. Nga man, ginambal dre. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Even if it is hopeless, it is not hopeless in God. It is hopeless only in your estimation. It is hopeless in the estimation of the doctor and other people around you. But in the eyes of God, it is never hopeless. Hallelujah! Never! Amunang faith di Abraham. He had strong faith in the promise of God. Let's go to number two. Siling dira against all logic. Against all logic. Sunod nga verse, verse 19. Siling dira, without weakening in his faith. Wala nag, 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 no, nag tayog tayog iya nga faith. Without weakening. Wala nag luya. Sa pagtuon niya, he faced the fact Now listen, si Abraham hindi bongit. Si Abraham logical. Ang logical nga, nga natabo dira, he faced the fact, he admitted. Abi hamal niyo admitted. Hindi si Abraham para silang mga myst- mystical nga mga Christians. Wala nga, may masakit. Ah, wala masakit, wala masakit. May masakit ka, galing may Diyos ka man. Hallelujah! Amen! Hindi niya mo na... Do not deny if it is there. It is a fact. He faced the fact that his body was as good as dead. Since he was about a hundred years old. Verse 19. And that Sarah's womb was also dead. So Abraham was also logical, but against logic, against logic, he still believed God anyway. Sino sa inyo, kapati, nga ang Diyos, mas taas logic sa imo. Ikaw, describe ka lang sa imo sitwasyon, pero ang Diyos, kontrolado niya ang sitwasyon. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin na itong Lord. Amen. Many, many miracles in the Bible took place. Pero natuk, na, natabo lang itong miracles, tungod kay ang mga tao, ginignore nilang logic. Hallelujah. Logic is there. It's good. Logic is good. Amen. But above logic, there is God. God says, okay, daw hindi ka na kaanak. Si Sarah, hindi man kaanak. Pero ako, ang mga Diyos, I am the one who calls into existence things that don't exist. Lawas mo daw, patay na. I am the God who can resurrect the dead. I can give life to the dead. Palakpakan nato na itong Lord. So Abraham has strong belief in the promise of God against hope, against logic. Number three, against unbelief. Next, verse 20, yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. Kabalo ka mo kung nagatuo ka, atakihon ka ni satanas, padalaan ka niya sa mga unbeliever. Mga unbeliever, kung kaysa, kal- kalabanan sa mga unbeliever ng mga katosay mo, mga amigo mo man, mga kristyano man, ikaw yung kabati, kasi ang pulong sa Diyos, sila wala sila kabati. So napisita sila sa imo, kasimpatiya sila sa imo, pero sa simpatiya nila, gina-reverse nila, gina-resist nila, gina-oppose nila, ang ginambal sa ginoo sa imo. Yan, yeah, makes Basi, ma-frustrate kasi na hindi ka na lang magpating na mag ka pa. Wasak-wasak ka ginda yan, may ginawarningan, takangadaan. Grabe ba mga, ang ilang intensyon maayo, pero kulang sila sa pagtuo. They bring to you doubts. You go to the doctor. Doctor says, you only have six months to live. Mano ka? Sinang muti, doctor na to yung nagambal. No, the doctor only bases, based his Analysis on, on, on what he has studied. He, he, does not, he has not heard from God. If you heard from God, 
God's word is higher than the words of doctors. God's word is higher than words of intelligent people. Ano pang pulos nga may faith kita? Kung wala man lang kita gamhanan nga faith labaw sang sa isugid sa aton sang tawo. So against all doubts, against all logic, against all hope, people can still believe. Abraham can still believe. You can still believe. Hallelujah. Pero dapat, umpisa, my promise si Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen? Let's go to the third. I, and the third is the best of all. Okay na na nga nagapati ka sa mga promise sa Diyos. Kag mataas ang pagtuo mo sa promise sa Diyos. Pero wala sing may matabo sa imo kung wala ding number three. Si Abraham nagpati sa Diyos nga nagpromisa. You know the difference? Sometimes, you read the Word of God, namian ka sang saad, you read the promise, but you do not know how or who will implement the promise. Managaling nga sa mga istorya namun sa mga Buddhist, iban ka mga religion bla. Nga lain ilang nga belief na sabi, pati sila sang reincarnation. Kung mapatay ka kuno kag taas imo nga manubo-nubo ang imo mga bisit nga ginpanghimo, ma-reincarnate ka nga kung subong gwapo uh, malaway ka pag reincarnate mo dire, mabuhi ka liwat bilang tawo kag hindi ka na laway, gwapa ka na. Sa una laki ka mo. <laughs> Gipati sila nga may reincarnation depende sa mga karma mo da o kung ano nga mga merit-merit mo ba? Intindihan niyo? So, okay, namin na nga bilip kun matuod. Kay kun matuod na makapakabuot ka subong, sunod nimo nga pagreincarnate. Hallelujah. Gwapa ka na. Ikaduha ba si may pakpak ka pa? Anghel ka nagali. Ang problema sina, sin o ang maimplementar. Sugirin niyo ko. Sino maimplementar sang sige ka score gina score niya ang imong good works? Sino ga score sa imo? Basi kun ikaw ma score, dayaan mo pa siya. Tindihan niyo? Sino may implement sa mga programa nga na nga kun mapatay ka kuno hindi ka magdiretso sa langit kun born again ka didto ka hapit sa purgatory. Pamangkot, sino may implement sa nang purgatory nga na? Kay wala na ga pati si Jesus sila. Sila ni Jesus siya, If you believe in me, you believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I will go away and prepare a place for you. Not purgatory, a place in my Father's house. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and take you to myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. Wala si Jesus na siling, where I am, you will not be there, you will only be there in the purgatory. Depende kung mapangamuyuan ka. Madumduman ka sa mga parinti mo. Ay, kung kontra ka pa sa mga parinti mo, kaya nang utang ka, wala ka nagbayad. Aking sila sa imo. Who will implement that? Areo? Areo? Mati ka mo. Ang tanan nga promisa sa Diyos nga buhaton niya sa imo, kaluwasan, eternal life, paradise, heaven. Hallelujah. Tanan nga ginhambal ni Jesus nga buhaton niya sa imo, kaya niya i-implementar. He is the God of all gods. Hallelujah! He believed the God who promised. Nagpatigid siya sa Diyos kaya nagpromisa. Let me enumerate this. Ang naobserbaran ko sa ginambal diri sa parte kay Abraham. He was responding to the mirror word. Kagsiling niya, tutuod hindi yung nga Lord nga imunga ginsaad sa akon. Ang una nga may nahambal na diri, oh, he believed in the God who considered him and who can decree what he can become. Kaina, nagkanta kita. Mati niya, nagkanta kita kaina. Who am I that the king would count me in? Who am I that the king would consider me? Ang una nga faith ni Abraham, siling niya, siling sang, sang ginbasa natin kaina, in the God in, in whose presence he believed. Ina nga expression siling sa mga Bible scholars ga indicate nga sangin tawag siya sang Ginoo ka ginambalan nga mangin tatay ka sang damo nga mga pungsod ang pagtuo ni Abraham sa Dios ginupdan sang admiration sa Dios 
Amo ni Balaho? Lord, himuon mo gid ako nga tatay sang madamo nga pungsod. Gapati ka gid ya Lord nga kaya ko na. Gid consider mo gid ko ya Lord nga pwede na matabo sa akon. Hello? Ang mga promesa sang Lord sa inyo, hindi nyo na pag take for granted. Siguro, buot gid man ako ya. Maybe I have done something in the past. So I I earned this. No, no, you did not earn anything. Yung tawagan ni nga grace. Yung tawagan ni nga mercy. You did not earn anything. Amen. So ang imo nga faith, una nga, nga, nga dapat action natin sa aton nga faith is faith nga may upod nga admiration. Amugin na yung Lord pagtulok mo sa ako nga pwede gali ako manging tatay sa damo nga mga pungsod. Si Paul, Apostle Paul, si Apostle Paul, traidor gini siya sa una, ginapamatay yung mga Christians. Sa so, naborn again siya, encountered niya si Jesus. Ano na record niyo, mati niyo? Sila niya, I was once a blasphemer. I was once a violent man. I put all these Christians to prison. I even agreed to killing some of them. That's on siling ni Paul. But God in His mercy counted me worthy putting me into the ministry. The fact na gin-count ka sang Lord, siling sang Lord, hindi ka natani na kung pag-include, pre-include na ka. Ari na lista ko ng alam mo di. Mga yan people, isang una, wala ka mo ka sa pak kay Lord, pero subong ka sa pak na ka mo kay Lord. Nga man, siling ni Lord, may pag-asa, kaya sa ako niya. I have something good for you. Something good is going to happen to you. Hallelujah. I have considered you. You will become someone. Hallelujah. Father of many nations. Father of many nations. Sino sa inyo kapati ka gamiton? Kamu din ni Lord? Kapati ka mo. Kapati ka mo nga may pulos gitman in your life. You must believe that God is really something. Lord crazy, kagid yang agin pili mo kita kuya. Something like that. You admire him because he chose you even though you are not worth anything. Palakpakan nato nato, Lord. Now, the God who considered him and who can decree what he can become. Let's read that again. Let's read the verse again. Come on. Siling diri. I have made you father of many nations. That's on siling diri. In the presence of, of the God in whom he believed, who gives life. Tarawan nyo ang kung ano nga klasis ang Diyos. Ang ginapatihan ni Abraham. The God who gives life to the dead. Ano bala ng Diyos nyo? Ano bala ng Diyos nyo napatihan? God who can give life to the dead. And God who calls into existence the things that do not exist. Wala dira pero pag siling sang Diyos nga may ara, grabe na na iya. Amen? Siling sang Bible, there was complete darkness in the entire universe. Darkness prevailed and then God said, let there be light. And there was, there was light. He calls things that do not exist as though they exist. Ginhimo niya na kay Abraham. Abraham, it does not exist. Your children does not exist. The nations does not exist in your eyes right now. But I am calling these nations to exist. Na tao, halin kay Abraham si Isaac. Halin kay Isaac na tao si Jacob. Halin kay Jacob na tao ang 12 children of Israel. Jacob became Israel. And then nagdamo sila sa Egypt. And from Egypt, siling sang Bible, I called my sons out of Egypt. The whole nation of Israel became children of God through Abraham. They became known as children of Abraham. Halin sa Egypt, they traveled, they went to the promised land. 40 years nga travel. God fulfilled His promise. He is the God who calls things that do not exist to exist. Kapatigid ako sina. 
Amen? One time, si Jesus, upod sa mga disciples niya, nagtabok sa Galli, sa, sa ila to nga lake. Ina nga lake, pero may lang na ginibisitahan sa bagyo tungod sa iyang uh, design ba lang. Uh, mag-init na gali. Warm air goes up and then waves begins to uh, to, to, be, to steer the lake. And kung arak sa tunga sa lake, delikado. Kaya ba si maubo ni mong uh, baruto? So, but Jesus was there. There was typhoon. There was storm. Waves and winds. That's on. Kamala ka mo kung ano, ano si Jesus? nagtulog. Ang mga disciples niya, nagpanik. Si Jesus, nagtulog. Kumparar ba la? If you know that you are the God who controls, and if you know there is a God who controls everything, bisan typhoon, padra, o kung ano nga tornado, you can still sleep. So, kung po kaula si Jesus, galasa sila, Jesus, Jesus, wake up! Don't you care that we are already drowning? Si Jesus, pag inakusar nila, tulog-tulog ka lang da, Lord. Wala kang kapalulong nga madlumos na kami di. Wala si Jesus nagreklamo, nagtindog lang siya. Da sa on, ging kumpasan niya lang, yeah, be still, stop, wind, stop, waves, be still. Pag siling sang Bible, daw kuhan mo lang, daw pitik sintas, daw siling lang, daw pitik sintas. Suddenly, the sea became like mirror come, and there was peace in the surrounding. The wind stopped. Siling sa mga disciples kay Jesus, oh. Amo ni, may imagine ko ilang mga guya. Siling sa mga disciples, who is this who can command the waves and the winds? Palakpakan natin natin, Lord. Nga ama pati, pakita sa Diyos kung wala siya gaho mag-implement. sang iya nga gin promise Let, next ini nga god nga ginpatihan ni abraham okay is the god who gives life to the dead and calls to existence the things that don't exist next 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 this is the god who is worthy of glory kay siling dira ni abraham Yeah, siling gali, parte kay Abraham, he started to glorify God. He gave God a glory. Now, ang marka balas ang tao nga gapate sa ginabasa niya sa Bible, ang isa ka initial mark sa tao nga nagapate sa ginahambal sa Diyos sa iya is the ability to praise Him and glorify Him. So, mga gabasa ka bala, kung gapate, kagat dulot niya sa imo heart, mo, glory to God, hallelujah! Ginahimaya mo ang Diyos sa isang Bible. Abraham, ginsulat, ginayak kay nga, ginrecord, dira anong response ni Abraham sa pulong na nabatian niya. He glorified God. He glorified God who is able to do what He promised. The promise has not taken place yet. Not yet. Pero mas nami nga honor sa Diyos nga wala pa matabo, ginadayaw na ni Mosya. He will Lord advance ko nga thanksgiving sa imo. Praise God. Amen. He started to glorify God and glorify God. That is the way we respond to the word we read. Do ano nga insulto ina nga grabe ni kadlagko nga mga bagay ginahambal sang Dios sa imo. Did maka lang. Hmm. No, get excited. Gatuon ko kada tuon ko. Gaduko lang ko kay gatululo na luha ko. Mabasahan ko ba lang kung ano ang... The beauty of the words of God. The power of the words of God. I know this will take place. Praise God. Damo-damo ko ba lang experience nga. God spoke to me directly. And everything He spoke to me directly came to pass. Amen? Hindi ka magpate. Nga sang nagsulod si Sister Sinaita sa klasiko. First time ko nakita siya. First time siya nag-attend sa... Nagatudlo ko sa college sa Sunday school class. Pag sulod ni Sinaida, siling sang Lord sa akon, amo ni siya ang imumangin asawa. Hindi ko magpate nga man, hindi ako impressive. Ang itsura ko sa ito nga panahon, daw tiki nga ginunat sa kaniwang. Ikaduha, 
nang tuod nga manager ako sang una pero tanan ko nga mga nami nga mga bayo gin panghatag ko I, I gave it away kay sila isang bible ipanghatag mo dason sulod ka sa akon amo giday gini bo kuya kay Jesus ya yeah. dason nang ang akon ginasoksok mga hinatagan lang sang mga naga-attend sa akon bible study ga tudlo ko bible study mga nagabaligya sang mga kamatis bala sa central market kita nila nga daw galamugo na ko kag dawala na ko bayo tagaan lako bayo so during that day nga sunday Ang largo ko kanami isang color green nga vix. Kita mo sang vix na nang nag daw luminous bala nga green ya. Dason bil batom pa. Eh, kon maglakat ka bala ka padilhig. <laughs> bala na ni ili. <laughs> bil batom pa daw ni Elvis. Dason nga kon bayo. Duduman ko git bayo ko pul kadat. Nga na dumduman ko ni tungod kay na frustrated ako nga tani ma-impress ko ning babae na kasi gali man pangasawa ko ang itsura ko hindi impressive. Doga duda pa ko sa ginambal ni Lord. Gali. Mangkotan niyo si Sister Sinaida. Sa pagkakita eh sa ako, amo man na ginambal sa iyo, sa Lord. Amo ni siya manginimo bana. So, that's the long and the short of it. So many times, many times you really have to accept the promise. Believe the promise besides no pa against logic, against against the hope. You have to have strong faith in the promise. But most of all, you have to believe in the God who gave the promise. Gapati ako sa iya nga promisa, tungod kay ang nagpromisa kaya niya. Hindi ako magpati sa promisa kung ang nagpromisa man lang hindi niya kaya. Sino sa inyo gusto magbaton sa promisa ko? Ako mapromisa sa inyo subong? Kung magbakal ka sa ticket sa loto, mega loto subong, 1 billion dollars. Ang muna ginalasan lang sa Amerika, 1 billion ang mega loto. Kung ikaw ang magdaog sina sa 1 billion, i-convert mo sa pesos, pila ng 1 billion? Sa rate subong, masiling ka nga, 55 billion pesos. Sino sa inyo ang gusto sa 55 billion pesos? Tagaan ta ka mo kung magtuo ka mo sa akon. Sino, na ano na yung mga pastor na mga ginasaad na, kaya mo na? Because that's the next question. Kaya mo na? Ang ihambal ko sa inyo, ambot lang, ambot ko magpati ka, ginahampangan ko lang imo na una, pero di na ko makuha sa 1 billion dollars ka na. In other words, the promise is only good as the person who promised. Every time you read the word of God, you know kung ano ang kaya ni Lord. Hindi ka magpati nga babago ka ni Lord. Damo sa inyo, wala ka mong kapati nga pwede ka mong babago ni Lord. Pagtulok mo sa espiyo, sa pulong sa Diyos, siling ni Lord, if you confess your sins, I will forgive it. If you turn away from your sins, I will open doors of glory for you. If you turn around and repent of your sin, I will open the windows of heaven for you. Grabe nga mga saad sang, Lord, kapatid ka mga kaya ni Lord baguhon inyong nga life. He can change the circumstances of your life. Siling di satanas, kabay pa mabangkrap ka. Siling di Lord, no, your business will float. Hallelujah, your business will flourish. Your business will will prosper. Siling di Lord. Tandaan nga balis karo ni satanas, nga provisa ni Lord, wala lagi sa sing may mahimo. Himuo ni Lord ya ang sakto. Natuman bala ang promise niya kay Abraham, yes or no? Nangin father of many nations si Abraham, yes or no? Yes! Pati gani kamu included, basahin pala ninyo sunod nga verse sa Romans chapter 4, when 25 to 26 siling dira, this was not written only for the sake of Abraham, it was written also for our sake. Next frame. It was also written for you. Nga gin, gin gamit ko ni illustration, because this is the intention of Romans chapter 4. 
maintindihan ninyo nga kun ang sa inyo ang pagtuon ni Abraham, pariho gid sa pagtuon ni Abraham, ang nadangatan nga blessing ni Abraham ihatag man sa inyo. This was written not for him alone but also for us Romans 4:23. 24. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Let me pray for you. We, this is praying time. This is praying time. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you first. Close your eyes. Don't be bothered by anybody around you. Focus on the Lord. He is here. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, thank you. You are the same God. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. You are the same God who sent your son, Jesus Christ. And you are here with us. I pray, Lord, for every person here. Young men or women. The girls and the boys that are here. The young people that are here. The parents that are here. And even the grandparents that are here, Lord. They have heard about you. They have heard your promises, Lord. Ang iban sa ila, they turn it away. Tungod kayo hindi sila kangop, kayo hindi sila makatuo. Nga himuon muna para sa ila. But now, Lord, increase the faith of your people, Lord. Mga pati sila, Lord, himuon mo ang tanan nga ginsaad mo para sa ila, Lord. To change the circumstances of their lives. To change the direction of their lives in the name of Jesus. To change, O oh Lord, the condition in their homes, the conditions in their marriage, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you have power to change even the condition of their body. If they are sick, you are able to heal the sick. You are able to give life to the dead. You are able to do what you said you will do. Hallelujah. Kung ikaw nagpasaan sa mga palasanon, kag may ginahawiran kang promisa ni Lord, karon niya gabi, I want you to hold. To hold that promise. Eh, bayaw mo sa, sa ginoo. Hold that promise. Hallelujah. Hold that promise. Because God will speak to you and He will fulfill the promise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.